in the last reaction we were just looking at acetic acid and water we had a very important concept the acetic acid donates a proton to water acetic acid turns into acetate those are two chemicals that are very very similar the only difference is one of them has an extra H plus also notice the same thing happened to the water the water on the reactant side gained an H plus so it turned into hydronium those two chemicals are very similar this is an important concept we're going to use a lot those two types of chemicals are called a conjugate pair those are two chemicals the only difference is one of them has an extra H plus and the chemical that's the acid is always the one that contains the extra H plus if you look back at this reaction we can explain the reverse reaction the hydronium had to donate the proton to the acetate to explain how the reaction goes back to the start so when you label every chemical on the left acetic acid that's the acid its conjugate is acting as a base on the product side a conjugate pair is always always made up of one acid and one base water on the reactant side is accepting a proton so it's acting as a base its conjugate hydronium is an acid on the product side whenever you have an equilibrium like this the reaction will end up favoring the side away from the stronger acid in other words we know that this equilibrium favors the reactant side we saw that this reaction has a ka that is much less than one when you ever you have a competition between two acids donating the acid that ends up donating is the stronger one so this reaction is going to end up favoring the left hand side the acid on the left hand side is the weaker acid that means that the stronger acid is the acid on the right hand side this also works if you're looking at the base the weaker base is on the left and the stronger base is on the right reactions always go from the strong side to the weak side so because this one ends up on the left we know that this is stronger acid or stronger base on the right and weaker acid or weaker base on the left like I said conjugates are going to be very important so you should be able to look at a chemical formula and know that the acid is the one that contains the extra proton so to find the conjugate pair all you have to do is either add or subtract an H plus if we're given that H2O is our acid to find the conjugate base you subtract an H plus subtracting an H plus from water leaves you with hydroxide water is amphoteric it can act as either an acid or a base when water acts as a base it has a conjugate that has an extra proton so starting from the base formula to find the acid formula you have to add an H plus it doesn't matter what the original acid or base is to find a conjugate all you do is either add or subtract an H plus so HSO4 minus to find its conjugate base we're going to remove an H plus taking away an H plus leaves us with no more hydrogens we still have a sulfur four oxygens and now the charge instead of negative one is a negative two because finding the base you remove one positive charge to find the acid you add a positive charge so HSO4 minus has a conjugate acid that has one more hydrogen and the charge goes from negative one you add one and that gives you neutral 